Darren, what's your magic moment of, of the weekend of international football? Well, I'm going to go... I, I'm going to go with Scott McTominay. I think he is the most underrated footballer in the Premier League. He's now left the Premier League for Napoli, but he scored another of his trademark goals um, from midfield. He bullet header for Scotland. I know they didn't win the game against Portugal, um, but they looked for a long time as though they would, and it was because of him. I think he is going to be a huge miss for Manchester United and I think a lot of the fans who like A-listers rather than guys who really just knuckle down, work hard, score goals, uh, uh, they're going to miss him. Uh, funny enough, I, I really like Scott McTominay as well. Are we mm. missing something, Dan? Are Manchester United right to let him go? Um, I really like him. I, I wouldn't let him go because mm. I think he can do so many different roles and he's, he just gives, you know, what you're getting. Yeah. But... I do understand the fact people have got to go out to bring people in and if you want to change it up and he's not going to be in your first 11, obviously his money was used for Ugarte, who's, yeah, who's going to play. So I get it, but yeah, no, yeah. he wouldn't have been first on my list to go out the door, that's for Ooh, sure. Oh, blimey, no. They, 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 you, could, uh, you could set up a series of ejector seats at Old Trafford, couldn't you? And mm. he, Scott would be a long way at the back of the, the queue for that. But good luck to him. And uh, who knows, he's turning himself into an international goal scorer. Uh, and we'll talk about Cristiano Ronaldo and international goals a little later in the programme. 901, as he said, you can see all of them. Um, on YouTube, meaning you can't see Pele's goals. It was an interesting piece of modernity by our friend <laughs> CR7. I've got, to, I've got to tell you, Danny, Danny my, my son, uh, he, he laughed at me last night. Join the queue, maybe, but because yeah. I was saying, you know, um, <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo is on the pitch and, you know, he's kind of chasing these records rather than putting the team first. Sure. And, and then he went and scored. He's done that from day one. He's done that from uh, day one. And, yeah. And, and, I mean, and 901 goals is not to be sniffed at. He, he's no, a legend you, you, in his class. You, oh, and uh, I agree with you. A lot of people get onto this. A lot of the sort of stuff that surrounds him, I uh, have very little time for. But I, and I hate to say this um, because there are certain people who are still alive who won't want to hear it. Um, he's the best striker I've ever seen. Not the best player, the best striker, though. Left foot, right foot, head. Just, he's monster, an absolute monster. What's your golden moment? What's your magic moment, Danny, of the weekend of football? I, I, I like people coming back from rejection or coming back from situations where you think that might be it. And I thought when I saw Angel Gomez come on for England to make his international ah, debut yeah. after leaving a club like Man United, I think, I don't know him, I don't know anybody that does, but my, my instinct was he must have some character, that boy. Because if you're leaving Manchester United... Um, in in the circumstances that he did, uh, it's very easy, and so many others have done it, is to fall down the pyramid, yeah, yeah. to even feel sorry for yourself and fall off a cliff. Actually, that's I'm happened sure. to many lads. Um, but what did he do? He only he went to another country, and to play yeah. at the level he has, to be noticed again, to be playing as well as he did the under twenty one to him. I know that's obviously the link with Lee Carsey sure. knowing him, but. The level of his performance has got him in the squad. And I I always feel, because maybe my own situation when I played was a little bit similar, is that when I was at Liverpool and I was farmed back out on loan to Crew in the early days, which was a little challenge or test for me at the time mm. that I didn't know, it would have been easy for me to think that was it. That was, that, you know, I did, feel, I did have nights and days where I'm thinking... What's my ceiling here? What yeah. can I actually do? Am I a championship player? Can I get... what? What is this? And you have to find something within yourself. You need help along the way, of yeah. course. Good coaches, good people around you. But I, I don't know. If, when I saw him come on, I maybe it touched something with me. Is that a test of your attitude as much of, uh, as your mentality and your ability? Yeah. Yeah. If, you, if, you, if attitude is an umbrella for strength, resilience, um, determination, a will to, to succeed, yeah. Mm. Yeah. And I mean, imagine, imagine how he felt, Danny, because there must have been times when he did make that move from, from leave Old Trafford behind where, he, where even the most confident person would have thought, whoa, this, this could be tricky. Imagine how he felt when he was pulling on that England shirt and, uh, and getting onto the pitch. Yeah, brilliant moment for him. And we'll see how, I suspect he's going to have a very, very good career from mm. here on in. Uh, my magic moment comes from far away from the starry lights of Manchester United and England debuts. A little story that I just want to tell you um, from the lowest part of the Nations League. Um, 
uh, Thursday, Friday. Um, oh, I know. What you're San Marino. Say. Yeah. No, actually, I'm not. You, you don't know what I'm going to say, to be truthful. <laughs> San Marino broke their duck after, I think, 21 years of international football and some of the most appalling records. They didn't score away from home for like 14 years. Um, and they are the worst ranked team uh, in, in the entire of the FIFA rankings. Last year, they set up two. Um, fixtures against St. Kitts and Nevis, who are the next worst team in order to try and win an international football match. They didn't win either of them. Uh, one of them in very controversial circumstances. So they won. That was great. The team they picked on and beat was Liechtenstein. And you thought, that is humiliating, Liechtenstein. You lost to the worst team in the whole world. So the following um, game last night, um, Liechtenstein go to Gibraltar, where they can uh, things can get even worse. They were 2-1 down after 97 minutes. Um, they conceded a 97th minute goal to put themselves 2-1 down to complete a miserable humiliation. Do you know what? After 115 minutes of football, there were, there were 15 minutes of added on time. They got a late VAR penalty and equalised to avoid the ignominy of losing to two really, really lowly ranked teams. So hats off for me to Liechtenstein. And no wonder the producer is saying, let's break. We've had, could you sleep in a hammock? Could, we've had, could you sleep in a, sleep in a hammock with two, with two nubiles? Um, and well, how great, how great are Liechtenstein? That's on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.